Libra, I feel like your justice is getting somebody else to do it. <laughs> Man, you get somebody else to done do it, okay? Like, get somebody else to do it, and that's your justice. Your extended will be available on YouTube members. Link will be below. All right, so get somebody else to do it in terms of trying to fix somebody, trying to heal somebody, trying to love somebody, or be someone's doormat. They don't have to get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to get jealous. Get somebody else to argue. Get somebody else to try to be in competition. Like this is like the Bachelorette or whatever, the Bachelor or flavor, the, the flavor, flavor love. Get somebody else to done do it, okay? Get somebody else to care. Um, and this is your justice here, okay? Point blank and period. And that's why they're mad. <sighs> Look, I appreciate seven of cups. Get somebody else to do it. You're just too aware. You just know too much out here in these streets. You are the relationship sign. And so you nobody knows relationships or people better than you. Nobody knows people better than you, Libra. And here you are talking about some, yeah, I know people. And I know there's going to be other people desperate enough uh, who need love enough, okay, who are lonely enough that they going to deal with your bullshit. You go get them go get them to do it. Go get them to done do it and that's why they're mad. That's why they're mad. Whoever this is, yeah, you're the one that got away. I just picked up a deck. Just picked it up randomly. You're the one that got away. <laughs> and that's why they're mad. Yeah. Yeah, hermit. You have a lot of spiritual energy coming out. Hermit with the high priestess. All right, um, may not resonate for a lot of y'all, but uh, I do, I you know, shout out to my spiritualists out there. Um, shout out to y'all. Some of y'all may have like Jupiter, like me in Libra. So that's where you get that spiritual energy from. Uh, when it comes to other people, you have a spiritual understanding uh, of people and relationships. Uh, but others of you, you just may, I don't know, maybe you have your moon in Libra um, or maybe... You have Neptune in Libra. Uh, but I don't know if that would be a good placement, Neptune in Libra. But it just depends. Maybe you have it in the eighth house or something. <laughs> uh, uh, let me try to think. Where else can Libra be? I just, just shout out to my spiritualist, okay? That's really what I'm getting. But for my Libras, though, coming back down to y'all level, coming back down here to Earth. Yeah, nobody knows relationships better than you. So whoever was trying to... I don't know, play games or whatever the case is. Like, you've been there, done that, okay? And they gonna have to go get somebody else who's dumber than that. You know what I'm saying? Well, me. And I know that's the case because Virgo had Page of Swords energy coming out with the Ten of Wands. You're not uh, you're not dumb, okay? You're not dumb. This is not your first rodeo. This is not your first relationship. This is just not. Um, and I was also getting narcissism energy. So this is definitely not the first narcissist that you came across, dealt with. Okay, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you definitely have someone who's mad that you're the one that got away. Um, I was getting in Leo's reading, they met the right one. And I feel like that's who you may have met or you were dealing with, whether they were a Leo or not. Uh, Leo energy is rules the fifth house of dating. And you, you know, Libra, you know about that dating energy. So someone definitely got the right one. And I feel like that was you. And their justice is now, or your justice is you getting away, but they're mad you are the one that got away. They're also mad that you're the goat and they can't finesse the finesser. That's literally your energy, yo. That's literally what I've been saying in my own way. They can't finesse the finesser. You rule relationships. How are they going to try to play you? You are the goat. They're not, and you're, you're the goat that got away. I'm telling you, somebody found out today and that was why they're mad. Yep. I would watch Leo's reading. <laughs> I would definitely watch Leo's reading. They may even have Leo placements. All right, Libra. We have an emperor coming out in a reverse. Damn. Down goes Frazier. In fact, that that emperor was coming out reverse in Leo's reading. Ayo, hey, with the death card reverse and something else reverse. Oh, with the seven of swords upright, actually, which is the devil to me, which is also the seven of cups. Yeah, go watch Leo's reading. Tee hee 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 hee. 
And yo, your opposite Aries, the reading I titled for them was it'll feel like moving mountains to get with you or to get you back. I was also getting Aries Capricorn Libra energy up in that reading as well. And then I was getting focus on career and self, self and finances. So a lot of you guys are focused on yourself, your career, your finances. That also is in alignment with Virgo's reading as well. If you want to watch that, all of my readings flow into the other. That's how energy works if you guys are new here. So if you keep hearing me mention other signs that I have done, that's because Aries influences Taurus, influences Gemini, influences Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and so forth and so on. Your energy is going to influence what goes on in, um, in Scorpio's reading. So I'm going to mention you in Scorpio's reading. You get what I'm saying and you know what the fuck I mean. And that's why they're mad. Tee hee hee. I can always count on my Libras to do the good work, the good Lord's work. I can always count on you, motherfuckers. And now they're in a ton of swords energy. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. <laughs> I'll drink to that. I just got so giddy and happy, yo. I'm just so glad you guys are out here doing the good Lord's work. I'm telling you, there's a spiritual vibe here. <laughs> yo, what does that mean? <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. Let me focus. <sighs> Look, Sagittarius energy is coming in with the Eight of Wands. <sighs> yeah, look, to a cup. You be knowing. You be knowing. Five of Wands reverse, world reverse, higher font. You be knowing. Damn. You know, someone's uh, scared. That eight of wands is giving me fear. You know, I have to tell y'all, I feel like I can. The other day I saw this horse. I guess someone owns the horse or whatever. And like, I just been on like a, I'm like a animal activist at this time. Like I'm very sensitive to animals. And if I see any signs of abuse or whatever, like I'm ready to call people up and, and I'm ready to kidnap uh, animals, like, to save them. And I saw this horse, and it was, like, rubbing up against a um, tree the other day. And, like, I re literally recorded it. I might add it into your reading. But it cut rubbing up against the, the, the tree, and I thought, you know, maybe the horse is, like, isolated, and this is, like, a, a stress thing going on. Like, I was ready to go in and report this motherfucker. Like, I had to save that horse. But anyway, the horse stopped rubbing up against the tree, and, like, I walked up to it kind of sort of like there was like a little fence but it wasn't even real like the, the horse could have easily stepped over it but the horse kind of came closer to me and I got scared as hell like I'd never been up close to a horse before yo I got scared as hell oh my god and then it huffed and I think I disappointed the horse <laughs> but when I see the eight of wands it reminds me of that situation like I felt so much fear with that horse like it was coming up to me I never been I've never been up to like I've never been that close to a horse before because you know I have my own beliefs of horses like I don't think people should be riding them I think that's a form of abuse and like I never wanted to be a part of the problem so I've never been close to a horse before but I'm very sensitive to them but that's what I'm getting with this ace of wands it's like you are this horse to this person and the horse is coming up to you or you came up to them and it's like fear and that's why in Leo's reading, I was getting, they met the right one. Because like I said, I'm a sensitive to animal abuse. I'm sensitive to horses being abused. And it's like this person is an abusive person. And it's like they wanted to come up and try to abuse you. Like people try to abuse horses or abuse animals for that matter. This person wanted to abuse you. Emperor in the reverse, Ten of Swords. They wanted to abuse you. And as soon as you came close to them or try, or yeah, you it's like you got close to them. That's how I know there's a spiritual energy here or water here. I was getting water in Virgo's reading as well. And Virgo influences your energy. There was water. It's like someone thought you looked a certain, just they were going based off of how you looked. Nine of Pentacles energy. Go back to Virgo's reading. Little did they know if they dug a little deeper, like that of earth, you dig deeper, there's waters. There's water underneath. 
you got close you were digging deep into somebody's waters that's how i'm already knowing i'm picking up on scorpio energy i didn't even get there yet and i'm picking up on it already you were picking up on somebody's eighth house energy or their scorpio energy if they have it and you may not even know them like that you may not even know them like that but you were already digging up in there you were already digging and somebody got scared as hell they got scared as hell that's exactly it it's two of cups energy water whatever the connection y'all may have had whether short long whatever the case though i feel like it was short term because leo energy is short term that's the fifth house short-term relationships flings dating la 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 you scared someone oh you scared them they're used to finessing but you're the finesser They're used to getting away, but you're the one that got away. Sheesh, you scare somebody. Six of Wands energy, I'm telling you right now. Oh, Libra, you did the good Lord's work. You did what needed to be done out here. Oh, I'm so proud of you all, man. I love you all so much. Look, King of Pentacles in the reverse. You dug up underneath somebody's earth, whatever they appear to be. Like I said, you guys are like Nine of Pentacles. Go to Virgo's reading. You guys are the Nine of Pentacles. That's how people see you, but people don't understand you have Nine of Cups underneath underneath of you, right? It goes, you're deeper than just your looks is what I'm trying to say. Somebody thought that you being a Nine of Pentacles energy, you match their King of Pentacles. Like they thought that they could come to you in a superficial kind of manner. They thought that appearances were everything to you. They thought that they could use money, their status, prestige, what they own, whatever to try to possess you or you become a possession of theirs to try to control you uh emperor here in a reverse and then have you in ten of swords energy stress the fuck out over the connection but when they got close to you like this these damn horses they got when they when you got close to them they got close to you whatever the case was it's like they got fearful as shit queen of wands reverse here's the king of wands yo somebody got fearful because this is someone who thought that you weren't, you weren't, you didn't have the strength that you had or whatever the case was here. But uh, we're going to get into this and to the extent that this is some interesting shiznits. It's like somebody knew, they. it's like, I don't know, man. It's like someone didn't know your power, but I feel like they did. That's why they were trying to take it or some weirdness. Go to Leo's reading, man. All of them, shit. I'm going to get into the extended. <laughs> 